Hey everybody, Erica Serwin here from Pink Bucker Designs. I've got another fun, cute little counting sheet stamp, uh, card using the counting sheet stamp set from the Summer 2021 Celebration Catalog. Um, there's lots of reasons you could use these cute little sheep, um, but immediately I was thinking a baby card would be um, really good. So we're going to do some mirror stamping and some masking. I'm using uh, the Penguin Place stamp set, which all I'm using is the little dot. So you could do dots or hearts. I'll show you here on the edge. And then um, the All for Baby, I'm using the Hello Little One because I wanted to use a baby sentiment. All right, let's get started. Let's do our sheep stamping first. You're going to need your stamp apparatus for this. Stamparatus is a great tool um, for lots of things, but especially for our mirror stamping. Now, the first thing I'm going to do is stamp my sheep normal, okay? Just normal. Okay, I'm just going to stamp it right there. Now, I'm going to turn the page like this, and we're going to line, we're going to stamp actually onto the silicone mat right so I've got it there I'm going to lift that up so I can see where it's stamping and I'm going to ink it up really well with memento black and I'm going to stamp right here on the silicone mat take my paper and set it right down on there kind of rub it and I'm gonna take a magnet and stick it there so it doesn't move and I'm going to just take this plate again and stamp it there that's so that I know where to cut it. We're gonna actually color the other side, but the back stamped image will show us where we need to stamp, uh, to use the die to cut it out. All right, so let's move that out of the way. I'm gonna uh, color these guys with Smoky Slate Stampin' um, Blends. These are our water-based, I mean, I'm sorry, our alcohol-based markers. Um, uh, water base was the ink that I was using. I wanted to make sure to tell you that when you stamp and you're going to color with your Stampin' Blends to use a water-based ink, um, which our Memento is a uh, water-based black ink. All of our colored inks are also water-based. Now, I went over all of those areas with the light smoky slate, and now I'm just going to add a little bit of shadow wherever that wool overlaps the leg color in his hooves, and then just take my light and kind of pull that color down into the other areas. All right, now, don't color that one, flip it over, color the other one. All right, so let's color him with the light. Again, do the exact same thing. You can do mirror stamping with lots of, of stamps, I find that the black line stamps like this are the ones that do the best. I've tried mirror stamping with more solid filled in stamps and it doesn't work as well. It kind of loses its shape. But these black line uh, images where we just have, you know, the black lines work really well. Okay, there we go. Now we're gonna cut these guys out. And while we have the cut and emboss machine, we're also gonna cut out the clouds. Um, I'm using the cloud die here from the coordinating sheep dies. Now, like I mentioned, the Counting Sheep stamp set is only available during the summer celebration, um, August and September, 2021. So you wanna get it sooner than later because it's while supplies last. Um, the dyes are while supplies last, and they could sell out before the end of the catalog period. Um, so if you love this, make sure that you get it pretty soon. All right, we're going to cut out four clouds from this paper. is called um, par Pattern Party. It's a free item you also can get if you spend over $150. It's a stamp and reward item. All right, so there we did that. We're gonna move those down because we need four of them. Let's move our sheep. Now this time, remember, this is the sheep we want, but the die will not match it because we mirrored, we flipped it, right? So that's why we laid that stamp down again on the back side. Look, it looks like he's even colored in because the marker <laughs> bleeds through the paper. 
Um, we're gonna put the die on the back side of the, the paper. And let's remove all of this and see how we did. Let's look on the back side. There he is. So now you have them going two different directions. Really fun. Kind of gives you a 50% more way to use a stamp when you can flip it and do it the other way. All right, let's do our masking technique now. I have a piece of balmy blue cardstock that is four by five and a fourth. And you're gonna need some grid paper. This is gonna help you line everything up. I'm gonna put just a little bit of adhesive on the back of my grid paper, and I'm gonna line it up here with the lines, all right? Now I'm using post-it tape. Um, this is awesome tape, you can get it from Amazon. I usually link it under the, the um, photo of the project that I do. Um, it's just the stickiness of a post-it note, and it's awesome, I love it. All right, so I'm gonna count how many squares. One, two, three, four, five. I think we'll do five squares. And I'm gonna do the same down here. One, two, three, four, five, like that. All right, so I've blocked off that. And we're gonna take our blending brush and our balmy blue ink, and we're gonna make this whole side inked darker kind of creating our own pattern over here. And I'm just gonna keep going until I reach the desired darkness. You can go really dark, you can go kind of dark. And then we're gonna turn that tape and go the other way. There we go. All right, so let's peel that up. See how it left a fine line there? Now I'm gonna count five squares up. One, two, three, four, five. And put the tape right there. All right, now this is pretty dark over here. I'm not gonna spend a whole lot of time on that corner, but I do just kind of want those to blend together. That line will stay there. You can kind of see it on my card. Um, but um, it doesn't bother me and most of it's covered with the sheep. And you could cut your tape differently so that you just had an L, but I didn't do that. All right, you're getting your arm work out for the day when you do this, let me tell you, my arm is like, what is happening? This is exhausting. See how that line is pretty much disappearing. Okay, what do you guys think? Have I done enough? I think so. All right, so let's take that off. Pretty cool, but wait, there's more. Now, I'm gonna take that polka dot. Remember the polka dot that I uh, said we're gonna use from the Penguin stamp set? And I'm just gonna add in the same color some polka dots. And I'm just gonna kind of do them sporadic, not really in a pattern. And honestly, I think I need to re ink my ink pad now. It's kind of light. When you use a blending brush, you use lots of ink. Let's do a few more over here and in the corner. Okay, I think that's good. All right, now we're gonna take our sheep Let's see where we're gonna put them. We're gonna use dimensionals. And I'm just gonna leave that stuck down to the paper for a few minutes. See right there, cover, kind of cover up that, that line. And then this guy can be leaping up. Um, I have cut out two little balmy blue hearts using our Give It A Whirl dies. I love these little stitched hearts. And you know, the one of the, the things Stampin' Up! is known for is color coordination. So balmy blue paper, balmy blue ink, balmy blue pattern paper, all matchy matchy. And then let's get our clouds. And we're gonna need mini dimensionals for these, I think. Oh, let's see, yeah, I think we'll go mini on these just to be safe so that the, 
the dimensionals don't stick out. So put two dimensionals on either side of each cloud and you can decide four might be too many but I went ahead and went with it and look how this one I'm gonna have it hanging off a little bit we're gonna cut it so that it meets the edge of the paper and we'll put this one up here now if you whoever you're giving this card to is having a baby girl then change the blue to one of our pinks or maybe they don't know what they're having change it to yellow lots of options all right let's see we're gonna put this one I wonder what this would look like if we did it like this like it was off the edge mm, no I don't like that sometimes my ideas work sometimes they don't okay now lastly I have cut out this label this is from the succulent dies I believe make sure you hop over to my blog where the full supply list and the measurements for all of this is going to be there on a PDF I've got three counting sheet projects there for you on one PDF all right and I think we'll do many dimensionals on this guy as well And we're gonna put that down here. All right, let's peel it up. And I like to take my scissors and just trim this these edges off. I think I like the way that's sticking up there just a tad, so I'm gonna leave that. Whoops. All right, we're almost done. The last thing that we're gonna do is stick this on a card base, a basic white card base. Now you could start out with a balmy blue card base, if you wanted and just did this entire treatment to the front, um, that would be just fine. I just like to kind of switch it up and have a different color card base. And there you have it, a sweet little baby card with our counting sheep stamp set. I hope you enjoyed this card and I hope you'll give this technique a try. Make sure to grab those sheep dies before they run out and the sheep stamp set before the end of August 2020 or September 2021. Thanks everybody for joining me. Don't forget to stop by my blog and grab that free PDF. Have a great day. Bye-bye.